You guys really seem to love Snacky. And honestly, I do too. In fact, I can't get enough Snacky right now, which is why I also bought this. There's something Snacky related in this box. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just roll the intro and get into that. Uh, we actually have Snacky here for reference because uh, this is uh, the Razor Snacky head pillow that uh, just came out actually. In fact, um, I'm not even joking. I didn't expect this to arrive so soon. It, uh, it honestly came in like two days. Like it came out and then it was here, which is impressive. Honestly, uh, Razor, your shipping is insane. Much like the Snacky original though, uh, pretty plain box. Like nothing about it is uh, Razor branded. Um, and then much like the original Snacky video, we are gonna be benchmarking this pillow and telling you exactly how comfortable it is because I still can't buy a GPU, God damn it. Let's unbox this. Um, I, I'm not gonna throw the knife at this because I am not sure how it's packaged, but much like how Snacky was packaged, I'm expecting this to be pretty much just flap. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a very cute pillow. I'm gonna give that credit where credit is due. You guys really can't see it that well on the camera because it's all shiny. So this pillow is for your your chair, your, uh, your racing chair. So if you don't have one of those, maybe you can use it in your car, but oh my goodness. How do you guys consistently make Snacky softer? Like, oh God, it has that, that like straight from the factory smell to it. It is soft. It is really, really soft. And that is definitely memory foam, which is nice. Again, we've got a Tide tag, which again, very good. I wonder how many of these things I'm gonna buy. They're, they're cheap, they're not that expensive, but uh, oh my goodness, I wonder how many. So let's actually go over the uh, the pillow. Um, super, super soft material, much like the original Snacky Snack. In fact, actually, I think it's even more soft. This is like a micro uh, fiber material. Uh, looks like color-wise, we got more or less the same, actually, it looks like a slightly darker green. I wonder if you pick up on camera. It does look a little bit darker. It might just be a change in material and that's why it looks different. Like let's compare. No, actually it looks like it's the same color. So they will match 100%, which is nice. I got a little razor tag that says, well, razor of course, and it's in razor green. Our head rest attachment is pretty standard and very generous. So it's not just gonna fit the razor isker, which is the, uh, the chair that um, Razor themselves sell. Uh, but yeah, you actually got really a lot of room with the elastic right here, pretty good. And then we also have, it's a uh, actually kind of like a matted fabric. I'm not 100% sure, it's very grippy, whatever this is. And then right over here, oh, it looks like we can actually, I bet you this is for cleaning purposes because it is a head pillow. Yes, it is, look at that. We can actually remove the inside of the pillow. This part you, you shouldn't wash. It, it's actually, no, it's not memory foam. It is actually fluff in there. But um, this part you should not wash if you do wash this. But since it is gonna be on the back of your head, they did think about having to wash it and you would wash the top layer instead. So razor again, like not something I would expect but I'm impressed that you guys thought of it. So overall, like pretty cool. Um, it does mean that you can kind of like adjust the fluff on the inside. This is, it feels like standard pillow fluff actually. All right, so let's uh, bring this in. Uh, this is actually the Secret Labs pillow 
that came with my chair because I have a Secret Lab Titan. This one's memory foam, but you'll notice you don't have the ability to remove the foam to clean this. In fact, this, this has been on the back of my head since uh, I've owned the chair, which is almost a year now. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put this back in there. Well, I get it back in right. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on that chair. Okay, so now that I've sought outside help to uh, <laughs> get the pillow back in uh, a resealed state, um, I wouldn't recommend uh, <laughs> removing the insert from this pillow. It's just saying, because I actually think that that's a good feature to have, uh, especially when you've got something that's gonna be on the back of your head and the back of your head tends to be a little on the sweaty side. All right, so we got our Secret Labs Titan right here. Um, and we're just gonna like so. Okay, so a couple of things. It's not that as bad as you would think because the actual curve of the snake's nose ends up kind of like filling that space between like the back of your head and your neck. So, I mean, it's not bad. And just go whoop. <sighs> All right, snacky. It's actually really comfortable for that at least. All right, so it's gonna take a little bit for us to benchmark this truly, but I have to say, I do really like the style of like the racing chair with the snaky snack head. It does look pretty good. It's definitely a different look than uh, using my normal uh, Titan uh, headrest. And it does fit on the Titan just fine, which is one of the bigger backrests uh, that you can actually have. So yeah, I am gonna go ahead. I'm gonna benchmark this. We're gonna run our full suite and we're going to go ahead and actually we'll throw normal Snacky into the mix uh, so that you know uh, which is uh, the superior uh, Snacky. But uh, at least now I can say that I have 200% more Snacky in my videos. So the results are in. We've done all the testing. And we've come to our final conclusions involving the Snacky Snack head pillow. And honestly, it did not score nearly as high as the Snacky flagship. In fact, in many ways, this head pillow falls flat compared to the Snacky Snack. But in others, it definitely does excel. So let's talk about it really quickly. On the cuddle mark, it only scored a 600 because, well, it's not very cuddleable. Although the material of it is soft and very reminiscent of the default Snacky, you're really not gonna wanna cuddle this one because it's got a hard dress zipper on it that uh, really isn't great for hugs. Not to mention the uh, material on the back behind the strap is designed to grip and uh, the strap itself uh, wouldn't make a very good cuddle companion. On the GFSB test, it scored a negative four because it's not really all that stealable. And my girlfriend really doesn't want to steal it. You see, when it's a head pillow, it's on the back of your chair. It's not like it's just sitting around waiting to be plucked up and cuddled. Instead, it's a thing that is behind your head that uh, in general, you just don't want to steal somebody's head pillow. You know, they, they sweat on it. They, it's behind their head and it scored a negative four because I don't even have a girlfriend anymore. I have a fiance. So yeah, I may need to redo that test a little bit. For physics simulation, it did actually score higher than the Snacky Snack as it's actually a fair bit more deadly. The elastic band does allow for much, much deadlier uh, physics simulations. Um, the strange fact of the matter is that as a shape, it's just that perfect shape to do maximum damage. And on the RS20, it scored a plus 60, which is also higher than the Snakey Snake because it's a pillow and it does help when you're trying to recline in your chair. 
That being said, out of these two, if I had to pick one, and I could only pick one, I would actually pick the Snacky Snack. And the reason for that is, until I broke this in, it really wasn't that great of a head pillow. In fact, uh, I still think the memory foam one that came with my chair is better, at least for the most part. But I'm gonna continue to use it because uh, it's sort of a thing on this channel to just have the snaky products everywhere. Everyone likes them. I personally like them and I think they're cute. And I do think that Razor did a good job creating a head pillow. I just think that uh, because they're trying to make it look like snacky, it's not necessarily the best head pillow in the world. Um, they did think through a lot. These, this top layer can be washed in a washing machine um, and you have to just remove the insert. The dress zipper though is a bit of a pain. Um, they've always sucked, but even on this shape, they like really, really suck. Um, everything else is pretty soft about it. It's still very, very quality. Razor even sewed a nice rubber tag into it uh, if you wash it. So it looks good. It is cute and it is going to live uh, back and <laughs> can't get it on here, right? Yeah, there we go. And it is going to live back here. But admittedly, buying it is for the snacky. It's not for the head pillow. It's not really an upgrade to any head pillow that's already on your chair. But that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come on, snaky, stand up. <laughs> If you enjoyed watching this video, you can leave it a like, comment, subscribe. I do content like this all the time. And uh, yeah, when Razer releases more snacky products, which they inevitably will do, you know I will be first in line to buy them. Because it still doesn't look like I can buy a GPU. But that might change soon. Well, we'll talk about that in a different video, but digressing a little bit. Thank you guys again, Wolfie. <laughs> Throw snacky at the camera. That's a good way to damage my cameras. Uh, Wolfie, out.